you the legends about these pointy-eared people that live in Ishgard. Nelazen, they call them. They are tall and proud. Or that's what people say about them. I've never seen one myself yet. They are super hard to find. All I know is that they are very, very tall and very, very proud. So tall, in fact, they say you can see their heads peek over the mountains. I don't know how that's even possible. They must have very long necks. Not that it's a bad thing. We love and support our long boys and girls in this channel. Elizabeth in Final Fantasy XIV deserve more love and I'm here to deliver it. Hey, it's Avicat. And this is 10 reasons why you should play an Elizabeth in Final Fantasy XIV. In this series, I support your Fantasia addiction. So sit back, sip on your Fantasia and enjoy the ride. Elizabeth are one of the most underappreciated races in XIV. And it's the race that gets the most slender, probably. So before we talk about the reasons why you should play one, I want to point out one tiny thing. The strange looking neck is not special to Elizabeth at all. It's a problem most character models have in common. All the necks in 14 are like selfies. The longer you look at it, the weirder it gets. I'm sorry. You can convince me this is what a neck looks like. I have a neck in real life. I would know. I think it's more visible on Elizabeth's because they have broader shoulders and they are built to look more slender than other races. Your neck might look broken in some screenshots, but trust me, it's not just you. Square Enix just based their character models on gamers with terrible postures. It's so common at this point, I'm very used to it. You'll get used to it too. Mostly because of their more visible necks, Elizan is not the most popular race in 40. Which brings us to the first reason why you should play one. Elizan are one of the rarest player races in 14. Do you wanna be special? Then stop being a basic cat girl like me and start playing an Elizan. With so many other race options added to the game, it's really hard to find an Elizan player now. Nowadays. So if you want to be that person who stands out in your party, this is the race for you. Especially if you play a Dusk Fight Elizabeth, trust me, you'll feel like a rare Pokemon. Gotta catch them all? So when I first started this game, I was actually planning to play an Elizabeth too. Then I saw Mikote and I thought to myself, I wanna be different. Elf-like races are super popular in MMOs. I'll play a Mikote this time so I'm unique. Yeah, that didn't go as planned. I should have chosen a dusk fight too, but it's too late now. I'm too used to my cat girl. Don't be a coward like me. Choose Alison. A little bit of neck won't hurt you. Reason 2. Elizabeth are gorgeous when you know how to create one. It's definitely not like Mikote or Aura. You can't just choose random features and glamours and expect it to look good. Creating a beautiful Elizabeth takes skill. If someone has a good taste, you can see through their Elizabeth. Because of their long limbs and unique slender builds, some glamours and hairstyles will look better on them. And you can show off your good taste by playing a beautifully made Elizabeth. I personally think long colors and big chunky chokers look so good on them. You have a long neck? Then decorate it. I think it's a really good way to balance things out. And it's also a good way to avoid weird clippings. Because they are so tall, most armor sets will also look great on them. Elizabeth models really do justice to these armors. You can see all the details clearly and it looks stunning. Especially the Endwalker glamours look so good on them because they have so much detail. I like my Elizabeth's BG world, but everyone has their own taste. Reason 3? You get so many compliments. We love to meme about them, but deep down, everyone loves Ellison. Most of us just don't have the courage and skill to create a beautiful looking Ellison. So of course, when we see one, we love to shower them with compliments. Oh wow, you're so beautiful. Oh thank you, you're so kind. For an Ellison, excuse me? I didn't say all the compliments you get will be great. You'll just be getting lots of them. Most of them will probably resemble the backhanded compliments you get in family gatherings. The looks don't matter much anyway. You have great personality. Reason 4. Their race-specific clothing are so good. And I'm not even talking about the Ellison outfit you get when you first start the game. Yeah, sure, that outfit looks really pretty too. But my favorites are the hemping kameez and hemping pantalets. These two outfits look different on every race and my favorite version of it is Ellison. It just looks very elf-inspired and very graceful. I love everything about it. It fits them so well and you can combine it with other glamours too. I actually love this top so much I try to make my glamour look like it. The original version is way better though, 100%. The male version of these outfits are also very spicy. Cover them up, you shameless elf. You're distracting the healer. Reason 5. Heaven's Ford expansion feels even more magical when you're playing an Elizabeth. This is the expansion where you first get to visit Ishgard and meet some of the fan-favorite Elizabeth characters. Of course, not every Elizabeth is Ishgard 
Guardian. You can find them all around Eorzea. There's just something special about playing through Heaven's Fort as an Elizan character. You get to learn so much relevant lore in Ishgard that it just hits different. Bonus points if you're playing as a dragoon. If you're an Elizan player, there's a high chance this is your favorite expansion. Whenever I ask my friends, they say they enjoyed Heaven's Fort the most. I'm pretty sure there's a connection going on here. If you're an Elizan player, please comment down below. I'm really curious, what's your favorite expansion in 14? Let's see if there's actually a connection. We are the scientists of 14 in this channel, doing the most important research nobody asked for. Reason 6. Some of the best NPCs are Elizans, so some people play this race to feel a bit more closer to them. Can you really judge them though? Final Fantasy XIV has so many interesting and well-written characters. It's so good that you want to either beat them or be with them. Or protect them with your life, of course. I'm talking about the twins. Some of the fan favorites include Alfino, the better Alfino, this clueless himbo, every street woman's first crush, William Shakespeare, Mummy, how dare you, and this lady. And these are just some of my favorites, there must be a lot more I don't remember off the top of my head. They really make the best characters Elizans in this game. Reason 7. Elizan are the most elegant race. Like, have you seen their animations? Oh wait, I forgot, we don't see Elizans cause they don't exist. Let me just show some of them while we are here. They move like royalty, so graceful. It's definitely not as animated as other races, but it's fitting them so well. They have the perfect amount of sass and elegance that make them look so good. And some of their animations are so dramatic, it makes me chuckle. They are the drama queens of Final Fantasy XIV. This is the kind of guy who will cry if you roll higher on a weapon they wanted. And he's right, how dare you? Give the long boy his weapon back. Reason 8. Elves are the classic fantasy race we all know and love. Though Elizan are not particularly elves we are familiar with, they are the closest option we have to the elves we know from other fantasy settings. So if you're a fan of Lord of the Rings or Dragon Age or any fantasy setting or a book or a game with elves, playing as an Elizan will make it easier for you to immerse yourself into the game. I also know so many people who moved from World of Warcraft to Final Fantasy XIV who play Elizan because it resembles their character in the other game. It's really Want to recreate another version of your character in Final Fantasy XIV. I am guilty of this too. Whenever I play another game, I give my character white hair and red eyes to resemble my Mikote. It instantly makes the game more immersive for me. I can't explain why, but it just works. I guess my brain is just wired in a certain way after playing this game for so long. Whenever it sees something that slightly resembles my Mikote, it starts producing happy chemicals, I guess. Reason 9. Playing an Elizan will instantly make you a better healer. It's just a fact in my my opinion. I have never met a bad Elizan healer. It has to be a package deal, there's no other explanation. Prove me wrong, you can't. Reason 10. We need more Elizans. We don't have enough of them. I think it's a shame. They deserve so much more love overall and as I said in the beginning of the video, I am here to deliver it. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. This is a series where I make a video about every Final Fantasy XIV race, so don't forget to comment down below what race you would like to see a video about next. Or you can check the other videos I already made. I hope you have an amazing week and as always, I'll see you in my next video. Stay cozy!